Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Gemini? I hope you guys are doing amazing. We're going to do the readings a little bit different. I'm going to be pulling out cards for you. Then I will be pulling out cards for your partner or a person of interest with the uh, with the different tarot deck. Okay, so we're doing two decks here. I also want to let you guys know that we will be releasing on Friday... May 21st, 2021, next week, we're going to be releasing the Pendulum gift box. Uh, as you guys can see here, we have uh, ritualized and consecrated pendulums with crystals and herbs that have been specifically charged in order for you to contact or communicate with spirit, with your spirit guides, your ancestors. These, um, these pendulums will keep away or keep any negative type of energies, um, they will keep you protected, basically. Uh, it is only to contact and communicate, like I said, with your spirit guides or your ancestors. So if you're interested in that, definitely go to our online store. Uh, like I said, it's going to be dropping on May the 21st, 2021. Uh, we only did 50 of them, so it is limited. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. If you guys are interested, it's going to come with the pendulum as well as with a necklace and a, uh, vial. If you guys can see here, we have the vial there as well. And that is again for protection, for communication, to be able to receive communication clearly. So anyways, let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. You guys, don't mind my nails. They look like crap. I have been substantially working nonstop. Um, and I just have not had time for any personal <laughs> endeavors. So, ignore my nails is what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, Gemini, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of May 2021 in regards to love and romance, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit guides, archangels, and ancestors, please step forward. Give us a vivid picture of what is unfolding for Geminis in regards to love and romance. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups, Gemini. Let's get right into it. So we have the Five of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles here, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so for some of you guys, you guys are dealing with a bit of emotions, feeling like um, feeling like being on a roller coaster. For some of you guys, it could be that you're experiencing a lot of people from your back, uh, from your back, from your past returning. Uh, this could be almost a unresolved connections so for some of you guys it could be exes for others of you it could just be friends that there was some type of distancing or some type of fallout that are going to be reaching out or trying to communicate i see you guys guarded uh for some of you guys you're being guarded because they've let you down in the past now this is a love reading so for some of you guys this can resonate with a person from your past where you had invested a lot of yourself either emotionally financially um and i see them trying to reach out trying to come back around or trying to contact you four of pentacles you're being guarded you're being guarded but also being tempted like you've been on this journey of working on yourself or wanting to manifest Someone that is more open, emotionally available is what they're saying. So you could have been dealing with the player type of energy. I do have the king of wands here. Um, feeling it in the reverse. So it could be a fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo type of energy, immature energy. Um, a player, a person that like to play on your emotions or someone that is very emotionally manipulative. Um... And it could have been that they walked away or they were creating some type of lies. Um, 
trying to deceive you or trying to one-up you only because they were putting effort and energy towards someone else. I do have here the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy. You may be dealing with an Earth Energy as well. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I feel very highly for a lot of you guys. You're going to be tested by the end of this month. Tested in the sense of now you have a better perspective or a better idea of the type of love or relationship that you're wanting. For some of you guys, it's even coming to the understanding that right now you're not looking for love. Um, almost like embracing being single or feeling comfortable being single again. Um, some of you guys, the desire to want to expand, the desire to want to travel for some of you guys or to see the world through different eyes. And I feel that for some of you guys, again, they're saying you're getting comfortable with either embracing being single or getting comfortable with the fact of you know what it is that what you want now and you're not going to entertain anything less than that. But then here comes along this person from your past trying to reach out, trying to communicate or trying to prove something to you. Nine of Swords. You're going to be anxious, definitely. I see you guys being in your head or doubting, like, should I continue on the path that I've been? Or should I stop and give this person the opportunity? Let's see what your person or target, how they're viewing the situation. Spirit guides give me clarity in regards to the person of interest or their partner. You know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing for some of you guys, you're coming to the understanding or the knowing of, and this is for those of you guys that are in a serious committed relationship, you're coming to the understanding that both of you guys are not on the same page. Both of you guys have a different outlook in life or are wanting different things at this point right now. Now the partner's cards is the lover's card, the emperor card here. The Eight of Swords, Judgment, Three of Wands, and Temperance. Okay. So, they, they know your worthiness, Gemini. They know what you deserve. And they know that at this point in their life right now, they may not be able to provide or give that to you. The Eight of Swords could indicate being, again, in their head, overthinking or overanalyzing only because they fear that you're moving on with the Three of Wands here and the judgment. So for some of you guys, again, I feel very strongly this is a person from the past coming back around. And it could be that, you know, as an example, if you're the type of person to be posting on social media that you're traveling, that you're going out, that you're having the best time of your life, it's not sitting well with them. So they're, they're trying to come back. They're trying to come back in because they feel you're moving on. With the temperance card, there is a need for healing or accepting this ending cycle. But I feel that they're refusing that because they know they fucked up or because they know that what you need or what you deserve is not something that they're willing to like they want you to meet them halfway, even if it means watering yourself down. Instead of them knowing that you're worthy and stepping up to meet you halfway. Do you see what I'm saying? They expect you to go down instead of them stepping up. So again, let me get clarity right here with the temperance card. Spirit gets, please give me clarity for this temperance. Why is this temperance here? You may be dealing with Aries. You may be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Oh, you got cards popping out. Okay. Let me pull these out. Give me one second, you guys. Okay. So, well, we have a few. I'm going to take all of them for what they are. So we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, it's like they're hasty. It's like they 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 don't want to give you the commitment you're looking for, Gemini. They don't want to give you the commitment you're looking for, but at the same time, they don't want you to move on. You know, Knight of Swords is 
quick coming in quick but just as quick as it comes in it goes out we have the king of pentacles here um someone that may be in regret or in remorse because they see the value in you yeah stand your ground gemini is what they're telling you be confident in yourself and know you deserve better walk away if this is an ex coming back around trying to contact you or whatnot like don't even entertain the idea like you're doing good you're doing big things i see like a lot of travel for a lot of you guys so embrace those new energies don't you know don't hold or don't stop the path that you're going or that you're walking towards right now because i feel you empowered but i also see the temptation of being distracted and it could be distraction from because this person's coming around probably promising telling you you know they're going to change they're going to do better etc etc but it's like the reason why they're doing that is not because they're naturally feeling like you know what gemini deserves better and i'm going to step up no they're doing it because they're seeing you live your best life so be mindful about that gemini all right my lovelies i hope you guys enjoyed this reading i hope it gives you some type of clarity we will see each other soon take care love and light bye